Many people assume once they've recovered from COVID-19, that's the end of their worries. But a Brentwood woman says she's gotten the virus twice. News Channel 5's Chris Davis tells us how her case may provide answers for others. Like so many that have already battled against COVID-19. I think I did walk around feeling a little bit invincible, like I've already had this. Tracy Waller thought nearly three months after her diagnosis, she was in the clear until... That telltale sign is to wake up and not have any sense of taste or smell. A test confirmed she's positive yet again for the coronavirus. I'm still in quarantine and um, I should be finished uh, early next week. Infectious disease expert Dr. William Schaffner. Can people get infected twice? Is this just an odd event or will it occur more frequently? Chris, we don't know the answers to all of those yet. It will take some time, but I will tell you, a lot of people are trying to find out. One of those people trying to figure it out is Dr. Natasha Halasa at Vanderbilt. Because it's new, we don't know the long term of how long someone has um, immunity for. She's leading a study tracking more than 700 patients of all ages in their battles with COVID. When it's safe, our, our team actually goes to their homes. They periodically draw blood samples for comparisons and hope to be able to eventually answer questions like why children seem to fare better against the virus than adults and how long does immunity last? This can be helpful also to understand if you're going to make a vaccine, is a vaccine going to be a short-term protection or is a vaccine going to be a long-term protection? Tracy is one of the hundreds that have committed to the study so that one day we all have a clearer picture. It's something that I feel like every person should be willing to do for the greater good. The study is partially funded through community donations. If you'd like to donate yourself, we have a link to it on our website. Chris Davis, News Channel 5.